Hi, I'm Luke from Weld Pro, and today I'm here with the Cut 60 NH Plasma Cutter. This is a heavy duty 60 amp plasma cutter that uses a blowback start technology. If you haven't seen the unboxing of this machine, go check it out. But today we're going to set up all the parts and accessories to make this plasma cutter ready to cut. Let's get started by installing the airline on the back of the Cut 60. Sometimes you may want to disconnect your airline. So installing a male quick connect fitting on the back of your machine can be useful. We'll do this using some Teflon tape. Tighten this down using a wrench, but don't over tighten it. Now I'll install the other end of the coupler so the air is ready to flow into the machine. Go ahead and turn your air compressor on. Let's get air pressure to the plasma cutter. One thing to note is that the output pressure on your air compressor should always be lower than 90 PSI. Now that we have our air connection hooked up, let's go ahead and install the cutting torch. There are three different connections on the torch assembly that you'll need to connect to the front of your machine. The first of these is this brass screw connector. This installs in the lower left corner of the machine. This connection provides both your air supply as well as your cutting current. The next connection we'll make is the red wire. The red wire helps to initiate the pilot arc to the torch. To install this red wire, take the black plastic cap off of the threaded stud on the bottom center of your machine. Slide the Stacon connector over the stud and reinstall this black plastic cap. The third and final connection we'll make on the front of the machine is the trigger switch connector. The trigger switch amphenol connector slides in the front of the machine. Be sure to line up the groove and tighten the ring down clockwise to secure the connector. With my ground clamp unraveled, I'm going to go ahead and install this. I do this by taking the dense connector from the ground clamp, installing it into the lug on the bottom right corner of the machine and twisting clockwise about 90 degrees until it's securely locked in. Now that our airline and our accessories are connected to the Cut 60, let's go ahead and adjust the air pressure coming into the machine. I'm going to energize the machine by flipping the switch on in the back. The display will flash and resume normal operation. In the bottom right corner of the display, there is a work and a gas switch. We'll talk about this in just a second. There's a 2T and 4T trigger switch. We use 2T for normal function. The yellow dial is used to control amperage and the readout is displayed on the LCD display. Let's take a look at the pressure gauge. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and turn my air compressor on. First, put the Cut 60 in gas mode. This will allow air to freely flow from the torch. Rotate the knob counterclockwise to reduce the pressure at the torch. Again, I'm trying to reach about 55 PSI. When you're finished making an adjustment, switch from gas back to work so you're ready to cut. All right, with everything connected and our air pressure adjusted, we're ready to get started cutting with this machine. Be sure to tune in for part three where we show you how to adjust your amperage settings, use the torch, and make a precise cut with the Cut 60. If you haven't done so already, take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Here at Weld Pro, we're always releasing new content and we want you to be a part of it. Thanks again for tuning in today. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. And as always, we can't wait to see what you build with your new plasma cutter.